Hi there, Pat Parnell here at Takapuna Beach, just across the water from Auckland here in New Zealand, just 18 kilometers down the coast. The world's best are about to embark on the first of six disciplines in the inaugural The Ultimate Waterman. The big question, however, how will the two favorites in Wakaama Outrigger Canoe, Tahitian George Cronstead and American Danny Ching, adjust their game plan given the wind? Because ideally, you want to get out as far as you can, line up a better, hopefully, downwind course where you can catch more waves. This is my strongest suit, and this is my best chance to score double, double points and hopefully double first. I've never done a race before in my life. Obviously, they know I'm a really good paddler, so they gave me a pink boat. <laughs> I think I probably deserve the pink boat. The expected leaders took control from the start. Ching and Kronstedt out front, but with very different strategies. Ching keeping close to the coast, Kronstedt going further into the Rocky Gulf, hoping that an ocean swell will carry him to victory. If I don't keep an eye on where George or DK or a few of the guys are, I'm, I might get in trouble. <laughs> Further back, but still in the spotlight, are decade-long rivals, Hawaiians Kai Lenny and Connor Baxter. The two have been dueling in the water since they were kids, but on this day, they are battling for third place. I mean, that was only my third time ever on a one-man, and actually my third race, and I came in third. It's a good rivalry. I think it's a necessary one to be the best. Mother Nature was not kind to the man known as the Tahitian Beast. Kronstad chooses the wrong line and watches as Ching races ashore. 18 seconds ahead for the win. Man, he is such a competitor. I knew it was going to be way harder than I was even expecting. I think I make a choice to, a wrong choice to, to stay uh, all the way outside. So congratulations goes to American Danny Ching taking the win in the Wakaama Outrigger Canoe. Now remember, this was Danny's elected double points event, giving him that much more of a points advantage going to the next five events. We'll have to see how it all unfolds here on Red Bull TV.